Hey YouTubers, this is what we've got to contend with with this Brazilian rain tree. It is throwing a hissy fit and it is losing leaves and branches left, right and centre. Now I am new when it comes to tropical plants and trees. I'm out of my comfort zone, I won't lie. And when it comes to the Brazilian rain tree, well, just try getting hold of some Brazilian rain tree seeds and tell me how you get on, unless you live in America or Brazil. And if you're in the UK, then you're gonna have a very hard time getting hold of seeds. If you do, fair play. Now, in America, a lot of their Brazilian rain trees actually come from cuttings, not even seeds. So that just goes to show you how actually difficult it is and how rare they are to try to get seeds of the Brazilian rain tree. Now, as you can see, I've been losing leaves. Now, why is that? Well, I didn't effing know until a few days earlier. And obviously I'm doing a voiceover now, but I documented the tree on each day just to keep an eye on it and see if I was going to kill it or if it was going to survive. But as you can see from that compost, it's pretty damp. And as you can see from from each day, it was the leaves were going more yellow and then white and even a new growth at the top. Towards the end of this video, you'll see the new growth at the top was growing out white. <laughs> and yeah, that was so, I changed the soil. As you can see, I've used lava rock, pumice, and akadama, and probably 10% of Irish peat moss. Just so it's got a bit of, what's the word I'm looking for? Vegetation in that soil. So you can see this tree now, it's gone a really, light to white leaves. Now when you do, I've heard when you get new growth on the Brazilian rain tree, it does grow like a yellowy colour first, but I knew first thing there was something wrong with this. But this is five weeks in the making. Five weeks this Friday. What is it today? It's Wednesday today. Another two days, it'll be five weeks old. Five week anniversary. Yeah if I can keep it alive that long that is. So what I've been doing with this Brazilian rain tree, now I've repotted it. I took away a lot of the soil I first seeded it in, but not enough of it. So I've been putting it in my incubator, heat mat, overnight. And as you can see here, it's starting to get a little bit more color in the corners of those leaves. You see that? see it and then you can see more darker tones of green this is the next day oh look she's loving it now she's starting to come back but it was very very traumatic for me because this is rainy this is rainy my brazilian rain tree you see that she's starting to get a bit of color in her new growth so that's when i knew Yep, I'm over watering it. And I haven't got a good compost soil to start them off with. It's not free draining. It wasn't free draining enough. So that is a lesson learned. Learned, learned. And this is the next day. As you can see, it is looking a hell of a lot more green. I can see it anyway, even if you can't. Well, you probably can't because I can't focus with this bloody camera. There we go. But you get, you get the gist of it. You get the gist of it. It's starting to come back to life because I've changed the soil to Akadama, pumice and lava rock. And I'll tell you what, <clears throat> that cost me 32 quid for four litres. Two litres of Akadama one litre of pumice and one litre of lava rock and I got the 33 quid or something off Amazon 
I suppose if you buy in bulk, you get it a lot cheaper. But I needed to, I needed to do this. Look, look at this. This is at night, so all the leaves are shut. But you see how green that's gone now. So that that is how I've done my Miss Marple to know. Yeah, that's what you've done, Gizzy. You've been modicolored, modicolling, modicoddle, modicoddle, modicoddle in it. I think that's the word I don't know. But I've been overwatering it. And I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to forget about it for like a week. But I think we're at the stage now. Now I've done this soil. There's no nutrients going into that soil. So I'm going to have to start thinking about feeding this tree now. Because... It's going to need feed now, but I didn't want to do that too soon after it's just recovering from its little hissy fit that it's had. So I think we're going to wrap this video up, ladies and gentlemen. And this is the final outcome, basically. This is today, Wednesday, and as you can see, she's coming back. She's coming back from the dead. But if you have enjoyed watching this, and you want to see more of this Brazilian rain tree getting bigger and better and still surviving, then please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Tell for now. Gizzy Greenfingers.